Russ Mitchell here at SEC Media Days Day 2 uh, from Campus Insiders with Paul Feinbaum, one of the voices of the SEC, one of the voices of college football. Paul, tell us a little bit about the season coming up in front. Do you have a favorite, a dark horse that you're looking at? Yeah, I mean, I think dark horse-wise, I, I like Florida because they were so terrible last year that I don't think they could possibly be any worse. And besides that, uh, you know, you, there aren't, you know, is, is Missouri a dark horse? No, because they, they won it last year. Uh, Georgia, South Carolina, Auburn. I mean, you're really searching for a story. Frankly, there there aren't that many great stories, I, I think, here compared to what it was a year ago when Johnny Manziel performed. We were talking that it seems that this year the personalities are going to be the coaches. When you think of personalities as a coach, obviously the first name you think about is Steve Spurrier. You had a chance to talk to him earlier today. Tell us a little bit about Steve Spurrier and the Gamecocks heading into 2014. Uh, confidence, and, and I, I love Spurrier. I've known him a long time, as you have, Russ. And it used to be about the SEC championship, maybe the national championship. But now I said those things aren't important. Yes, yes, they are. He, I think, he really believes he has a shot this year. Um, he saw what Auburn did. He saw what Missouri did last year. Uh, he's got a tough schedule, but it's you know the fact that Alabama's not on the schedule uh, makes it a little bit easier. No LSU. So I, I think he's thinking of getting to Atlanta and rolling the dice, and I think he will be in Atlanta. And Alabama jumps on the schedule for Florida, so that helps Georgia. Look at Mississippi State. Look at Ole Miss this year. Mississippi State with five of the top six returning linebackers, seven of the top eight returning defensive linemen. Old Miss with perhaps the deepest and most experienced team they have. Do you think it's time for the Magnolia State to step up and make a difference in the West? I do, and I think both have... Again, it's a broken record of media days, but favorable schedules when uh, I mean Mississippi State has Auburn at, at home. That's a big game. Yeah, yeah. Now, Ole Miss has Alabama. I'm not sure that's a big game yet because uh, I'm, I'm not convinced Ole Miss can beat Alabama. But, but I, I really, uh, in talking to Dan Mullen today, uh, he's got a swagger about him for a guy that a year ago was on the hot seat. Finally, let's close it with the book. I'm, I'm excited to read your book. I know a lot of folks are. Tell us when it comes out and really quickly a little bit about it. This book has been in the works for about a year and a half. The name of it is My Conference Can Beat Your Conference, Why the SEC Still Rules College Football. Uh, don't bother me, Florida State fans. You're in the SEC. We don't really count your, your championship. It, it's a diary of sorts of my season on game day. Uh, a rookie at the age of 57, you know, with the biggest names in college football. And uh, it goes back and, and, and it makes a very bold and obnoxious case of why uh, this is the best league. I mean, you don't really have to make the case, but I had to fill up 310 pages. <laughs> Paul Feinbaum, Russ Mitchell at day two of the SEC Media Days for your college football news. Keep it here at Campus Insiders.